Hi, it's Jan from YouMakeItSimple.com. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to go over the blind hem stitch, both the sewing machine method and the hand stitching method. Let's get started. I'm going to show you by using this pair of corduroy pants that I cut off earlier. Find your desired length and then you're going to add one and three eighths inches. Your first fold is going to be three eighths of an inch. So again, you're just going to fold that underneath three eighths of an inch and then press that. Do that all the way around. And then we'll fold it up an inch and press it and pin it in place. So because you are folding up quite a bit, if your pant narrows a little bit, you may have some, a little bit of bulk. Can you see how that's kind of puckering right there? I'm just going to ease that in with the steam and then when you're sewing it, you can ease it in. So we've folded it and pressed it and pinned it in place. And take that and fold the end under so it looks like this, so that we have the cuff and the pant leg here. And I'm going to put that underneath my presser foot and find that stitch on my machine. So what it's going to do is stitch along the edge there and once every maybe four or five stitches it's going to do a zigzag over into the top fabric and you just want it to barely catch it otherwise you're gonna have you're gonna see the stitch on the other side and we're gonna see the stitch because it's in blue thread but if it were in brown thread you wouldn't even see it so what we want to do is sew along here barely catch sew along and then barely catch let's see if you can see what that looks like so anyway you get the gist of that see how that barely catches over and when we open that up you'll have these little stitches here but if that were brown thread you wouldn't even see that then it's all finished and will lie flat so I'm going to show you how to do a blind hem using a needle and thread this is a good method for hemming pants or skirts I have folded my fabric the edge under a 3 8 of an inch and then I have folded it another inch and this all depends on what kind of hem you're using. I have double threaded a needle and I'm going to knot the end, wrapping it around my finger, rolling it, and then pulling, and that will make a knot. So to begin stitching, I'm going to take just a little stitch right there between the layers so you can't see the knot and bring it out in the fold. That way, that way the knot is on the inside and my thread is right coming out right on that fold. So to begin I'm just going to take a very a little teeny stitch. Now note again that if you're using brown thread you're not going or the color of your fabric you're not going to see these stitches. And then just barely take a little stitch along the edge of that fold and I'm going to take a little stitch in between I'm going to stick my needle inside that fold and bring it out 
about one eighth of an inch down. You can decide how close you want your stitches. And then I'm going to grab that fabric again with my needle and catch it there. And pull it. Stick the needle back in to the fold and out. Then I'll catch the fabric again, barely a teeny stitch, and then back into the folded. Back into the fold, so I'm letting my needle go inside that fold. I'm not stitching into this back piece. And then I'm going to catch it again with another little tiny stitch. Catch it again and pull. And just continue all the way around or all the way over whatever you're hemming. I'll do a couple more so you can see barely catching it. Sticking it back in. And then on the other side, so you can barely even see with this blue thread. And it just will lie nice, nice and flat. And you won't even see that. You don't even see that if that were brown thread. And it's keeping it in place. A nice method for a blind stitch hem. Now when I come to the end to knot that off, I'm just going to take another little teeny stitch, wrap my needle around that loop, leave a loop, and wrap your needle around that loop one or two times. And gently pull it, that'll knot it. Then I'm going to stick my needle back in between those layers and out and cut it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel for other upcoming sewing tutorials and tips. We'll see you in the next class.